<laughs> Getting ready for a camping trip. It's actually kind of a backpacking trip. We are headed to have a supai in the Grand Canyon where there's all sorts of beautiful blue waterfalls and some of our friends invited us last minute and we just kind of spontaneously were able to make it on this trip. So we'll be taking a helicopter in and then we'll be hiking with all of our stuff for about three miles and then we'll stay three nights at the Havasupai campground and so we have to bring everything we need for those three days. And I thought I would show you guys what I'm going to be eating on an animal-based diet while backpacking and camping. And <laughs> spoiler alert, it's going to be very simple. It's probably going to be a lot easier than if I wasn't doing an animal-based diet. I'm not bringing anything to cook with. My food is really light. It's mostly just meat. And so it's going to be really simple, really easy. And as some of you guys know, I'm healing from years of severe chronic illness. So at my worst, I was bed bound. And now I'm back to rock climbing. I'm doing really well and I'm active and basically able to do most everyday normal life things. So really excited and grateful that this trip is even something that we could consider. It's probably not something we would have done on our own, but because we were invited and had the opportunity, we decided just to, to go for it. And I'm so excited. In a minute here, I'll show you what I have packed, but I'll also take you along and show you just what I eat throughout the day as we are camping and hiking. Okay, so I got my backpack. This is most of my food over here. I've got dehydrated New York strip steaks. So these are just from Costco and they they sell them really thinly sliced. So I just dehydrate those. I have a recipe for my beef chips and I'll put the link to that below. And then I have some snacks as well. These are my favorite beef sticks from Paleo Valley. Um, some That's It bars. Got some Redmond Real Salt packets, just in case. This is, I guess, what you would call dessert. It's carnivore snacks brisket. Um, I really like these. I'll probably have like one or two every day to kind of like spread them out and save them just as a treat. So I'm not cooking anything. Um, and then over here, I've got some carnivore bars. They just came out with some new flavors um, that I tried at KetoCon. This is the zesty garlic. I like those a lot. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> and then I've got the honey kind. That was really good. And that's pretty much it for the food. Got some camera gear here. Just trying to keep it really lightweight. And then I have my barefoot hiking shoes. Gonna sleep in a hammock. Not bringing that stuffed animal. That's my niece's swimsuit. A couple of outfits, nothing much. And then this is Claire and Fritz tallow sunscreen and it's just a couple of ingredients. Most sunscreens have a lot of toxic chemicals in them. This is the only sunscreen I use, and then I have some tallow chapstick from Clara and Fritz as well. Most of the time, I don't wear sunscreen, but because we're gonna be out in the sun longer than I'm, my skin is used to, I will put some on, I'm sure, during the hottest times of the day. Then I just have a hat that I will wear I actually don't wear sunglasses, so won't be wearing those. And then my barefoot sandals as well. These are really light, so those will be good to take along. So I'm editing this video almost a year after our trip to Havasupai, and it's been really fun to look back on our memories. And in a way, I'm almost shocked that I was able to pull this off at the point that I was in my chronic illness healing journey. This was really a challenge for me, but I'm so glad that I did it. And it really showed to me that we are capable of so much more than we think we are. I also wanted to say thank you to Clara and Fritz for sponsoring this video. Clara and Fritz is a tallow-based skincare company and all of their products have very clean ingredients. I'm talking like two to five ingredients, all that you can recognize. They have lotion, they have chapstick, they have sunscreen like I just showed to you in my packing video. I bought this on my trip and it was a lifesaver. So at Havasupai, the water has lots of minerals in it that actually make your skin really, really dry and your hair too. And so having the tallow lotion and the tallow sunscreen was a lifesaver because I was spending more time in the sun than my skin was used to. And I don't like using brands of skincare that have all sorts of ingredients that I'm not familiar with and that may be harmful for our bodies. So 
That's why I love Clara and Fritz. You can use the code Rach for a discount. I will link them in the description as well. I would definitely recommend giving them a try. They're always at the top of my list for packing whenever I am traveling. So let's go ahead and get back into the video. Also, I have a chocolate bar. This is like a paleo, no refined sugar chocolate bar. I know it's probably not the best thing, but for a special treat, for a special trip. And yeah, that's about it. We're not gonna take this tent, but I've got like a down jacket and yep, some suit few outfits and that is it. Here's the hammock and a rain fly for the hammock. And my sleeping bag, so all of this, I think, including the backpack, is only going to be about 20 to 25 pounds. We're on our way. Let's find the helicopter. How are you feeling? Cold. It's not that cold. Really, it's just, uh, It's really windy, though. It's just windy. <laughs> we can see the Grand Canyon in the background there. It's beautiful. <laughs> God, here she comes Woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing how I feel for her. But she won't feel the same for me. Fish in hell. Got some chocolate milk, some other milk, cheese sticks, raspberries, nice. $10. Nice. We're currently waiting for our bags to arrive. By helicopter. Yeah, we didn't know that they weren't coming with us, so we had no food or water. So we were just waiting for them. I'm sitting right by the basketball court here. There's a school across the way from where we are, and there's a store and a cafe, and it's just kind of crazy that there's a town nestled in here in the Grand Canyon. Thank you. 
morning. It's 5.45 a.m. and I'm the only one in my group that's awake so far, but I'm just gonna have one of these carnivore bars. So when, um, so when we were hiking yesterday, it was warmer and these got really mushy. So I thought I would eat them in the mornings when it's colder and they get more firm, but this has 400 calories in it. So it's gonna be a good breakfast. I have this beautiful Havasu by water right here. This is what the carnivore bar looks like. Okay, so I ate the carnivore bar and those are really high fat, so I wanted to add a little bit more protein. So I'm having a couple of these beef chips here. I gotta say, eating animal-based or carnivore while doing a backpacking trip like this is so, I feel like more simple and more easy than what other people have been doing. A lot of other people have had to bring these dehydrated meals and rehydrated them with the jet boil and stuff like that. And I'm just eating jerky and it tastes amazing. I mean, this is steak. I'm on a camping trip and I'm eating New York strip. It's great. <laughs> so I'm gonna have this. Then I also have one of these organic um, fruit jerky bars. I just wanted to have an easy way to get in some carbs while I'm here. Lately I've been having like probably 30 to 80 grams of carbs a day, so I wanted to keep that up while we were out here backpacking. I attempted to make my own pemmican before this trip and it didn't turn out great. I didn't love the taste and it also completely melted and flattened in this bag, so I didn't end up eating it. The campsites are all along this river here and you kind of just can pick whichever one is open. Anyway, lots of people left after the first night, so we decided to move our stuff to a better location. This is our new camping spot. Pretty magical. How magical? So magical. Getting the tent set up. <laughs> and our friend didn't want to take apart their tent, so they literally carried it set up for probably a half a mile from That's our other campsite, which was pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's so good. How good? It's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just hiking. Okay, you're good. Jump in. Woo! How is it? Is it As I'm sure you've noticed, most of what I've eaten on this trip has been beef jerky, beef sticks, and pemmican bars. It's made food for the trip so easy and so simple, and it's also helped me to feel my best. All of this animal-based protein and fat has helped me feel healthy and strong and energized for all of the hiking. Ready? Uh, not putting our bags into the tent. Oh yeah, this is lush. Look at that. This is in the middle of the Grand Canyon. Crazy. Look at all this green. You would never guess. Very good. Yep. <laughs> Big ladder here. I thought I would mention that the blue of the water at Havasupai is actually much more bright than it looks in these videos. It looks more vibrant in person. It's just incredibly beautiful and nothing like I've ever seen before. How was your swim? It was good. Very refreshing. Cold water. It's a secret <laughs> to re energizing. Wim Hof knows best. Today 
is the last day of our trip. We've kind of been taking it easy. We went on a lot of hikes yesterday. I think I hiked like 12 miles probably total, which is well over two or three times the amount that I have done ever since I got sick. And um, <laughs> my legs feel like jello today. I, I pushed myself way harder than I probably should have, but this is kind of like a once in a lifetime sort of opportunity. So I knew I could recover. Um, after we're done but today we've kind of just taken a chill day we went swimming at some of the closer waterfalls and have just enjoyed relaxing at the camp um but it's been a good trip it's been very very um exciting and very challenging um, very very challenging even with where i'm at in my recovery but i've been proud of how my body's been able to hold up and i don't know yeah it just feels like the old Rachel is is coming back. This is something like what I would have done in college, and um, I don't know. I'm grateful. I saved my carnivore snacks for our last day here. This is the brisket. Look at that.